hello welcome to my channel i'm lady survival and today we are going to be diving into the world of warcraft official cookbook for the first time ever on my channel today we're going to be starting super super simple and we're just going to be making a few spices from the cookbook a lot of these spices you can see the beautiful imagery for the spices there um will be required to make a lot of the dishes in this cookbook. And of course, we can't go much further without putting on my apron. I got the cookbook in the gift set that came with a apron. I got it on Amazon, so I will put it linked below if you guys are interested in picking it up. It has a alliance side and a horde side, but today I got my horde shirt on. I even have my horde leggings on. Horde tattoo, we're obviously going for the Horde vibes today. To start off, I have some empty jars, which I have labeled. Over here beside me, I have all of the spices laid out that I will need to use. Some of them, I am maybe missing like one or two. I did the best that I can, and of course I bought like all the ground versions. You could get like the actual like seeds and crush them up with the mortar and pestle thing, but I don't wanna go that fancy. I tried to make it as cheap as possible, and just easy for anyone else who wants to do this. So we will be starting with the first of the three herbs that I will be doing, which is the autumnal herbs. And it says a skill level apprentice prep time five minutes and makes about a quarter cup of herbs. As the days grow short and chilly, our thoughts often turn to time with friends and family and occasions best marked with feasts. This herb mixture is a favorite of Stormwind chefs as they prepare vast meals to celebrate the harvest during Pilgrim's Bounty. So this is actually the perfect time of year to be making this. It's almost Thanksgiving here in the United States and it will require two tablespoons dried rosemary, two teaspoons dried thyme, one teaspoon dried marjoram, half teaspoon ground cinnamon, quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg, quarter teaspoon ground ginger, and one teaspoon blue cornflower petals. Optional, I did not get the corn petal, the cornflower petals, so we're skipping that part. So let's get into making the autumnal herbs. The holiday spices. With all the warmth and flavor imbued by these spices, an ordinary dish gets a little boost of holiday cheer for the Feast of Winter Vale. You'll need these spices to whip up Great Father Winter's favorite treats for his yearly visit. And this one requires one tablespoon of ground ginger, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, one tablespoon ground nutmeg, half tablespoon ground cloves, and a quarter tablespoon of ground pepper. Now, I don't have ground cloves. I couldn't find them, oddly enough. But I asked ChatGPT and it said allspice will work. So we're going to use allspice in place of the cloves.
World of Warcraft spices. One more left to do the Northern spices, which I'm really excited about because that one will be used in the Westfall stew, if I do remember, and I'm most excited to make the Westfall stew. So let's get on to that one next. This aromatic blend of spices will not only increase the flavor of any given recipe, but also add a warming element to dishes. That warmth is a welcome addition to the chilly region of Northrend, from which these delicious spices are traditionally gathered. We will need one tablespoon of cardamom, one tablespoon dried juniper berries, I did not get those, one teaspoon smoked salt, I also don't have smoked salt, so we're just gonna use regular salt, I don't care, half teaspoon of pepper, half teaspoon of ginger, and quarter teaspoon of allspice or nutmeg. done making all three of the World of Warcraft spices and I'm so excited because this means I can now go forward into trying other things from the cookbook and just having these ready to go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I could definitely use some pointers on how to make cooking videos more interesting and I'm definitely by no means an expert in the kitchen. I don't really know what I'm doing but overall I'm so excited to start doing this and I'm glad that I was able to start with something very simple as spices and I just can't wait because the other actual foods I'm gonna get to go to the store with you guys and like film me getting the ingredients in my cart and all that fun stuff so I have a lot of fun plans don't know when I'll get around to it I'm actually starting a new job on Monday so I'm gonna be really busy working full time so we'll see when I get around to it but let me know your suggestions on what you would like me to make. My husband suggested for me to just go through the cookbook in order, but I'm not sure if I wanna do that. I think I just wanna do whatever I feel like doing. So if you have the cookbook and if there's something that you really liked and you want me to try within my first few videos, let me know. I would just be open to any suggestions. Thank you again so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on all the social medias, I'll put them up here or check my description to follow me everywhere. I also stream on Twitch sometimes playing World of Warcraft, so check that out for sure. And other than that, I hope that you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!